So InDesign already comes with a number of options for fonts, right? So uh, lots of uh, lots of true type, lots of open type. But what if you're just not finding what you're needing? Or what if your company insists on using a certain font and it's not built into InDesign already? Well, uh, there are a lot of resources out there where you can download full fleshed out open type fonts. And some of them are free. It's, it's hard to find a fully fleshed out, robust open type font for free. You can you can pay for them. They're like 40, some, 40 bucks sometimes. Uh, 30, 40 bucks, but uh, you can get a lot of them for free just at Google Fonts. I find Google Fonts by Googling Google Fonts. I think it's fonts.google.com. Yeah, fonts.google.com is what it is. And this is one resource. <clears throat> and it, it's a great one because it's, you know, it's Google, so you can trust it. They're not going to download, you know, they're not going to trick you into downloading a virus. Uh, you can search for something uh, or you, oh, and one thing I like about it here is uh, you can, Type in a sentence, and it'll all the examples will be that sentence. So uh, we can type in uh, our one hundred rules, and then there it goes, and it gives you examples of all these fonts with the sentence you wanted. Right, pretty nice. So instead of the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy brown dog <laughs> every time. And you can adjust the um, preview size of, of it as well. <clears throat> you can search for something, which is obvious, so I'm not going to do that. But also, it lets you filter for things like uh, handwriting, monospace. Uh, monospace, by the way, I don't think we've, I've mentioned, uh, is a font where every character takes up the exact same amount of space. Um, this font is really, to my knowledge, only used in computer programming because it's it's a lot easier to see where you may have mis you know written something you know in in a whenever thing whenever characters are in a in a row um whereas it, it does not look attractive but if you use a monospace it'll make it look really techy um handwriting is pretty obvious uh, let's some display so this tends to be things that you'll want to use for a headline so you get some really interesting ones when you click display that's cute. Freckle face, fingers, or Relaga. Anyway, and of course, we already talked about serif versus sans serif, right? So I'm just going to click them all real quick. And then we can do, we can choose a, a language. And let's see, font, oh, font properties, we can uh, toy around with uh, what, do, what do we want to see with uh, like the thickness? We want to see you know, real thin ones like this, or do we want to see some real beefy, bulky ones like that? Do we want to see, well, actually it's not giving us any choices on slant. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, okay, it does give us, we gotta bring it way down. Oh yeah, no, if we take it down to no slant, it gives us lots of options. Um, and, you know, width, etc. We'll just turn all those off. I guess we can reset either way. All right, so let's choose um, Open Sans is a really popular one right now. I'm fond of it, and a lot of people are using it. So if we scroll down, let's see here. We'll see a, a variety of different styles. So we see light 300, light 300 italic, light, or sorry, regular 400, regular 400 italic, et cetera, et cetera, a whole bunch of them, right? And we don't have to download them all. So let's just say uh, download family. Or we could say select this style. And then another little menu pops up. And right now it can allow us to just, let me move my face there. We can just uh, download this one particular little subset of the font, this light 300 type. right? And you can also um, use it through an embed. Now we would not use that because this is, this is a print app that we're learning. So you don't uh, use fonts by uh, embedding them, embedding code. <laughs> uh, we would need to download the font and use it in a document. But if you're a web developer, you can just embed this in, a, in the header of your um, index.html document if anybody's into computer programming. And uh, it'll allow us to use that font. And then you can use the CS, uh, CSS language to access the font like this. If that's, you know, if that's something for you, then cool. If not, just hit download. 